see. <laughs> so as they expand this camera, you're going to see some very special people. And the guy sitting to the far right of me that way, I think might be a little hard to get along with. Hey, I picked now it. Wait, watch it. Now wait, wait. Watch it. Uh, don't do any of that kind of stuff. Uh, don't we call me no hard head or I, anything. I, I didn't even get to introduce him yet, <laughs> folks. We got troubles, you know. <laughs> with him, he brought his friend tonight, and we're glad that she came because she's probably the only level-headed one that we're going to be able to talk to. This is Michelle Todd. And she's from Pinckneyville, Illinois. And Michelle, glad to have you on Christ Vision. Well, thank you very much. Glad to be here. Wow. And sitting on my left-hand side, it's that way, which looks strange backward to me. But we've got Pastor Ed Hahn from First Baptist Church here in Keokuk. Pastor Ed invited Michelle and her uh, <clears throat> friend, Seymour, to be with us this evening. <laughs> Pastor Hahn, tell us a little bit about what's going on at First Baptist Church. Oh, thank you for asking, Jim. I appreciate that. We're having a children's crusade at First Baptist Church. It began on Friday, Friday evening, and it finishes up tomorrow night. And Seymour, you've been doing a great job. Well, thanks, Mr. Hahn. I've been glad to be here, and we have been having one super duper time. We sure have. You know, uh, Jim, we've been to all five grade schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have. I see. I can't name all of them because I'm a visitor, but Washington and, and Hawthorne, and yeah, we went to a whole lot of them. That's Lincoln. right, Wells Carey and yeah. Lincoln, oh, Torrance. Gosh. Yeah, we were there. Hi, kids, if you saw me. That's right, and I think you met a lot of pretty girls, didn't oh, you? Oh, boy, those girls were gorgeous. I tell you, I sang a little song for them, kind of went like this. Oh, you beautiful girls, you girl. Hey, 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 you're not going to sing that song on TV. Well, I can't see them now, but I know they're out there. I know, but you uh, sing that song lots of places, and you don't sing nice songs for me. I don't. No, you've never sang a nice song for me. Huh. Could I sing you a nice song now? Well, I guess if they don't mind. You have a we minute for me to... Uh, hey, we've, we've, I've never had them sing a nice song, so yeah, go ahead. Okay, Michelle, this one's for you. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> oh, now. Oh, you know, Seymour, yes, sir. when we went to the uh, grade schools, you know, I did a little magic and mm -hmm. you did a little sharing. Yes. And uh, Michelle tried to help you to understand that you're always, to always tell the truth. Oh, well, yes. And uh, I thought that was a great song. We couldn't preach the gospel there at the school, could we? Well, no, we tried to be real respectful and not, not break any of the rules that they do have there. Yeah. The, that's right. But we sure could teach a, a moral truth. And a moral truth oh. is we need to always tell the truth. And I thought that was a neat song that you and Michelle did. Would you be willing to, I know you don't have any background tape with you right now for that, but could you do an acapella? Oh, yeah. I like to do that kind of stuff. See, we talked about how your tongue is kind of like a pencil. Only problem is... You don't come with an eraser. Well, you got to be careful what you say the first time. You have to be careful what you say the first time and all the time. Yeah, and then we ended up our little show with a song like this. Nothing but the truth, nothing else will do. There's something to be said for saying nothing but the truth, nothing but the truth, nothing else will do. There's something to be said for saying nothing but the truth. It's never ever right to tell a lie, uh-uh. And that's a truth that no one can deny, yeehaw! So if you got a doubt about it, don't let it out. If it's not the truth, it's something we'll do without. Woo! Nothing but the truth. <laughs> nothing else will do. There's something to be said for saying nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. Nothing else will do. There's something to be said for saying nothing but the truth. Boy, that's wow. quite a no. Thank you very much. He hit that. That was a high J or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something huh? like that. You need to go back to music school, sir. All right. That was, that was a great no. Well, thanks. <laughs> Michelle, you got to tell us just a little bit about Michelle if Seymour will give you an opportunity. Oh, well, I'll be quiet for just a minute. How long have you been doing your act with Seymour? Well, I've been a ventriloquist now, I guess, for about 20 years. I started when I was 13 years old, and Mom and Dad gave me a, a puppet for a Christmas present, and it came with a record of instructions, and I listened to that and developed 
and decided, well, I can kind of do this. And then before long, within the next year, I decided that I would like to have a better puppet. Still, I wasn't Seymour. No, I didn't come for a long time. No, you didn't. We ordered a puppet from a company in Colorado, and I worked with it, and actually worked with it for 16 years and did a lot of things. And then I decided if I was going to do this kind of thing for the rest of my life, which it looked like I was going to, I needed to probably invest in a better dummy. Now you be careful. <laughs> I know. A better figure. And uh, so I did. About four years ago is when I purchased the actual Seymour that you're looking at. Yeah, I'm a handsome dude. Yes, you are. Matter of fact, it came in the mail and we were all excited. Yeah, and you know, I am made out of wood. Yes, they, you actually are made out of wood. And um, Well, I don't know. I guess that's kind of the, the sums it all up. Now, wait a minute. I gotta say something. What's that? You people out there think that you go through the mill. Well, yeah, sometimes we go through the mill. Let me tell you, I've been through the mill. <laughs> Seymour, you are outstanding. Well, thank you, sir. We're just kind of glad to have you here well, tonight. Well, I'm glad to be here. I, I like to like to just tell people about Jesus and make them laugh. You know, sometimes people haven't laughed for 20 years. I hope you get a good chuckle out of what you're seeing tonight. Yeah. Amen. That's a good chuckle. Michelle? Tell us a little bit about your Christian background. Okay. I've been involved in church um, all of my life, I guess. My parents, I come from a strong Christian background. And um, I was saved when I was 10 years old. I felt the need that, even though I thought I was a pretty good kid, um, I just had that desire not to be in hell. I knew my parents wouldn't be, and it began to work on me. And at the age of 10, I decided that... Um, you know, I needed to do something about it, and I did. I prayed. I asked the Lord to forgive me, and I can't really say that as far as the world standards, I've ever been a bad kid. Uh, my parents would even say I was probably the easiest one of the four that they've raised to raise, but it still doesn't mean that I was a good person, and I dealt with that, and, and from there, I've been involved in the things of, you know, the Lord, or tried to anyway, ever since then. I am currently married to a preacher, um, only married, <laughs> not like I'm planning to quit or anything, but I am married, and we are involved in ministry in that way as well. Amen. And has Pinckneyville always been home for you, or no, originally sir. from somewhere? Well, I graduated from high school in southern Missouri, in a little town of Houston, mm. and then moved to Hannibal, went to Hannibal LaGrange Baptist College, and then from there we moved to Pinckneyville, where my husband is pastoring. And I think, Michelle, I knew you before you were Michelle Todd. Todd yes. Uh, you were Michelle from Hannibal. Michelle and Sullivan. I was up at Chambersburg one time, and Mike Shea was there, and you came with Seymour. Yep. And it just occurred to me, when he started talking, I know him. I didn't yeah. remember you, but I know him. See, a lot of people, they know me, but they don't know her. I guess that tells you who's important in this book, <laughs> don't Yes, it? it does. Thanks a lot. I <laughs> am really glad. I carry... Hey, you want to shake? I gave your name to a couple people, Seymour. And oh, really? Just great. Yeah, Whoa. because they wanted to see you sometime, and they got to see you. Here they are, yeah. It's <laughs> wonderful. I gave your name to the First Baptist Church in Keokuk one time, Oh. and it only took them about Six, seven years? Yeah, but there here you, you go. Are. There you go. <laughs> you never know how the Lord's going to work things out, do you? Amen. Can we talk to Pastor sure. Ed here for just sure. a minute? Sure. All right. Sure. We want to ask him a little bit about how the Children's Crusade is going. And oh, I tell you, uh, Jim and, and folks, it's been fantastic. We've had a great time. We did not have any anticipation of what to expect. But on our first night, Seymour, on Friday, we started out with that hot dog heaven. Yep. We had all the children to come for, for hot dogs mm -hmm. and Ted chips and jello and just had a great time. Ended up, Jim, at about 10 minutes till 6 when it was supposed to begin, we only had about 20 kids. Mm. But at 6 o'clock when it was supposed to start, we were hitting right at 155 <laughs> children. And it was so exciting. And uh, so at the Children's Crusade, Seymour is not the only one that's there. We have uh, an individual by the name of Mr. Evil. Mm. He spells his name E-V-O-L. And uh, he's always looking at the dark side of life. And uh, he's kind of difficult for us to work with. But we're working on him, aren't we, Seymour? Oh, yeah. And uh, we've had another couple who've been there, uh, Manjula Steve and Madame Debe. And they have been sharing the message of Christ as well. And, 
And uh, matter of fact, I have to share with you what happened today. Today, uh, Michelle and I were sitting in the living room at our home and fellowshipping together, and a very neat thing happened. The door knocked. Someone knocked at the door, and so I opened the door, and in walked a little bit of girl. And a uh, little, little girl walks in, and uh, she and I go over to the couch together, and she stands in front of me, and I said, well, tell me, Haley, what is it you would like to tell me tonight, today? And she said, I just want you to know, Reverend Hahn, that today I went home after the Children's Crusade, and I accepted Jesus as my Savior. Amen. And I said, well, would you tell me about it? And she said, well, I went to my brother's bedroom, and she was all alone there, and she accepted Christ into her heart. Mm. And so, Seymour, it's been worth it, hasn't it? Yes, sir. And, you know, that's what it's all about. We're not here just for all fun and games. We're here to talk about Jesus and how he can give you a clean heart. That's Praise what God. we've been talking about in this uh, crusade. That's right. And then t today at 1030 this morning, we had about 85 children that came again this Lord. morning to hear more of the message. And so we'll continue that uh, on into tomorrow evening. And uh, we're going to kind of uh, have a festive time, though, tomorrow afternoon with a all-church carnival. And there'll be a lot of things happening in Seymour. I hate to tell you this. Yes, sir. But I, I heard that there's going to be a kissing booth. Oh, good. I no. want to invite all the girls to come. Yeah. No, Can I, I sit there? I hate to tell you, but oh. they're not going to have you in it. No. Well, then I ain't going. <laughs> hope they don't have no boys. I'm not going to kiss them. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great, Jim. Well, the idea of a children's crusade, uh, maybe between the two of you. Michelle, why don't you talk about it first? Uh, do you encounter resistance occasionally about children's crusades? Actually, I never have. Um, <laughs> I, anything that I have been involved with, or I should say Seymour has been involved in, has received very positive comments as well as very positive acceptance and it's amazing the number of people that will sit and listen right. and I don't know that I always see a lot of fruits to my labor because I'm often in and out mm -hmm. in such a short period of time so the fact that I was there today was a real blessing to have somebody come and actually verbalize that Amen. I'm probably more of a seed planter and so I don't receive very much resistance in that nature but I'm not involved in the initial planning that may be another aspect I don't know well Seymour identifies with seeds he's just a little sapling himself hey I'm sure. I <laughs> know I thought that's what they called you they you know instead of blood running in my family I got sap uh, yeah <laughs> Seymour we love you we hey, love thanks you. <laughs> so glad you're on here tonight uh, far how far can you travel Michelle are you able to take in long distances yes, or um, in the last seven years of this ministry we have traveled quite a distance we do absolutely no form of advertising other than a passing of a card um, when people request a name but um, we've been at wherever place wants to host us and help us with the expense um, and are willing, you know, because it does take time away from our family and it does take time away from the responsibilities we do have at home because I still work an outside job. I am married to a pastor. I do have a young child. And so there's a lot of things that I'm asked to leave, but if a church is willing to help me with those expenses and, you know, provide places to stay or those kinds of things when necessary, I will go wherever because we've been to Florida and Pennsylvania and Utah and, Amen. of course, in the general driving area as well. So. Now, this child at home, we better hear, Seymour has somebody to share the house with? Well, actually, I got a lot of somebodies, if you want to know the truth. We got a girl named BJ that's another kind of a, kind of like me. Well, we do have another puppet that we use. Her name's Belinda Jo. Um, we call her BJ for short, and she's more of a soft puppet, Muppet type. And uh, he's what's considered a hard puppet because he's obviously made out of wood. Tough. Tough. Yeah, and Lynn, I am one tough dude. <laughs> However, in our house, as far as my live children, I only have one live child, and it's a little girl. She's 10 months old. Oh, she's just a new addition to the family. Right. Yeah, not? I had to scoot over a little bit, but I've adjusted. She's all right. She's pretty cool. And how how does she do when you're out on the road? Is well, not bad. She's already been able to go with us to about 10 different shows, and so far, she's still okay. Um, uh, we're getting into the walking stage, so I don't know how long we'll be able to do it, but hopefully, after we get through initially some of that, um, I'd like to incorporate her and have her help me sing amen. or whatever. That's right. so, well, yeah. It's just great, Michelle, but so it's, I, when I first heard that name, I thought, Michelle Todd. No, I don't know Michelle Todd. I don't know Pinckneyville, but I remember a Michelle in a Seymour, and I thought, 
Can't be the same one. Can't well, be the same it one. is. It's, it's the, the same, same one. one. Just a, a new and improved older version. An older uh, version, that's right. Yeah, you made a hit. We were up at a little country church for a, mm -hmm. an annual reunion, and that's yeah. where I first met you, yeah. Seymour. Yep. And you uh, kind of brought the house down. Well, is it still standing? Uh, barely. Oh, barely. okay. <laughs> uh, they're one board short, though. Could oh. you help out, maybe? No, don't talk <laughs> like that. Uh-uh. I don't like toothpicks, and I don't like fires. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> well, we better ask Pastor Han another question here. Okay. Oh, my. What's on for tomorrow? And why don't you give a little bit of a schedule for the people out there? Because okay. this guy's going to have a lot of fans tomorrow that are going to want to see him. Oh. Is, fan, no. is fans a good word? Oh, yeah, that would be all right all with right. me. We don't want to fan any fires, but no, fans no, no. are all right. That's okay. okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, we're going to begin tomorrow morning at uh, 8 o'clock. That will be our early worship service. BJ uh, is not, is BJ going to be with us? Yes, yeah, she's been in okay. all of the services. BJ will be with us as well as Seymour. And uh, I believe they'll see more the message that you were going to visit with us about uh, tomorrow morning has been changed. And I think you're going to be talking to us uh, tomorrow morning instead about walking like Jesus. Yes, sir. Uh, and that's going to be an interesting message. And so we'll want to, matter of fact, I think I may have uh, Seymour share just a little bit about that message in just a moment. But also then at uh, 1015, we'll be having another time with Seymour and with BJ. And then tomorrow at 4 o'clock, we'll be having the all-church carnival. And then tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, we'll have an evening worship service with uh, BJ and with Seymour. Mm -hmm. And I think that one there will be something to the idea of wet my whistle uh, or winging it. Winging it, winging. winging it. But I tell you what, though, Seymour, tell me about uh, tomorrow morning. You've made a change. You would like to share something a little bit different about walking like Jesus. And, of course, that's our theme song. Y yes, that's... That, we've been talking about how you have a clean heart, and you know, once you've had a clean heart and asked Jesus to forgive you, that's that's the important decision, but there's more to it. That's you got to start walking like him. You got to start acting like him, and you got to start doing what he says. That's right. And that's kind of the, the idea behind what's going to happen, but I'm not going to tell you a whole lot about it, all the secrets, because I'm going to tell you, oh, you got to come to see it. Well, we don't, <laughs> the illustration we'll save for tomorrow. Yeah, but the main idea is how we need to model what he does in our life. That's right, Amen. we need to act like Jesus, and he's our model, and we need to model that for other people. And then uh, winging it, you know, it's kind of like a butterfly, how they start off and they get new wings and it, a whole brand new life. That's right. That's just like what God says about us. We can be a new creature, and he can change us, actually change our total behavior Amen. and everything about Thanks us. Yeah, so that's kind of the idea of where they're going. So All right. I hope you can be there. You know, there's something real important we need to remind the people tonight, okay. particularly about that 8 o'clock service. Yeah, that's that's going to come one. even oh. sooner tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Why is it going to come sooner tomorrow? Can well, you tell the people out there what they need to be doing? Yeah, you need to set those clocks. Forward, forward is right. Yes, spring forward and fall back. Whee! That's how it goes. <laughs> Woo is right. And let me tell you, it's going to come early too, so don't miss it. <laughs> we got to remind you. We're going to keep on reminding you that set those clocks up tonight. Do it before you go to bed, or it's going to be too late. So. Get the clock set up. We don't want anybody missing Sunday school and church tomorrow. And those 8 o'clock services, like Seymour is going to be at, we want you there. We want everybody to see this guy at least one time in the reel. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. You know, uh, Seymour, I think it might be good also for you to let the viewing audience know that you do a lot more teaching. You teach more than just the message about Jesus Christ. Uh, you're fighting against crime, I understand. Well, I am working with, a, in my local county where I live, I'm working with a D.A.R.E. project. I do a lot of things with the local uh, sheriff's department, and we do a lot of things in the schools and present programs as well. Um, we we kind of have a two-fold ministry. One is um, teaching in churches, and then the other one is really teaching outside of churches and doing some fun, clean, wholesome entertainment as well. So we do two-fold. We have a strong D.A.R.E. program in Keokuk, Iowa. We oh, have uh, Officer Scott Rager, fine Christian young man who's uh -huh. a police officer mm -hmm. in our town. Kids love him, and he runs a very strong D.A.R.E. program here. That's a good program. Glad you're involved well, in it. Well, thank you very much, and I'm glad to be involved in it. And kids, if you're listening, you stay far away from that stuff. Those drugs are no good. Amen. That's right. Uh, 
We need to talk to Pastor Han one okay. more time, okay? Yeah, I'll be good. All right. I promise. <laughs> For tomorrow afternoon with the carnival that's planned, maybe give the people some idea what's going to be going on if they'd like to bring their kids oh, do yes. they need to bring some money do that what 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 needs to be done well i'm not really sure what the cost is i think it's a nickel for every game they oh, play uh, it's pretty expensive i i think there's free popcorn uh i think there's going to be plenty of food and uh, it's going to last for an hour and a half from four to five thirty and uh there'll just be many many games to participate in um uh, I'm not sure what all the games are. It covers three floors of the educational building. And so you can come to the educational building, which I believe is on the corner of Seth, 7th and Blondo, and uh, come at 4 o'clock, come prepare to have a good time, come as a whole family, because that's really what it's all about. Adults are invited. Oh, my, right. yes. If you're wondering yes. what your kids are involved in tomorrow, come right with them. Amen. Bring that's your right. nickels with you, folks. <laughs> yes. Can adults play the games? Absolutely. Absolutely. And we try. We try very hard not to make any money at this. We just want to provide some clean, wholesome fun. i got to ask Seymour a question. Sure. I understand mm -hmm. that on Friday night, mm -hmm. hot dog roast. Yeah, that hot dog heaven. Maybe ran out of hot dogs? Oh, man, they did. They uh, thought only there's going to be 60 kids, and those kids showed up like crazy. 155 of them, well, let me tell you. <laughs> Hot dog heaven ran out of hot dogs in a hurry. <laughs> tell me, just tell yeah. me real uh -huh. privately. Okay. What were they saying when they ran out of hot dogs? What were the kids saying that didn't get any? Oh well, I think uh, Lynch the preacher. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah. Hang <laughs> the preacher. We get our own hot dog out of yeah, this, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get him. We'll get him. Yeah, that, no, I don't think so. I, I don't really know. I was too busy. Uh, being stuck in my suitcase waiting for my turn to talk. <laughs> oh, they don't do that to you, do they? Oh, yes, they do. Is All it the dark time. in there? Well, actually, I have a new model version of the suitcase. You shut the lid, and inside there's a refrigerator and a microwave and a couch, and <laughs> yeah. if you believe that, I got a bridge I'll sell you in, in Arizona. But you can answer the question for us. Oh, yeah? Does that light stay on when the door's closed on the icebox? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We always wonder, now we know for sure. This is wonderful. Yeah. What's Just your favorite me, place know. that you've ever been? See, where well, I got to ask oh you that question. Oh, my. That's an impossible question because every place I go is so new and different. And, you know, when you've never been there, it's always exciting. <laughs> That's true. We've been to a lot of exciting places. But I'll tell you the most scary place I ever went. Can I I'll tell you that? that? Sure. One time, Michelle was getting on an airplane uh, to go to Florida. And she was running kind of late because of traffic and stuff. And so they sent me on the, that little thing that you look through, um, oh, the x-ray machine. Yes. And they picked up my bag and they stuck it back through the x-ray machine. And they stuck it out in the x-ray machine again. And finally they opened it up and they started digging around and moving my head all around. And then they looked at Michelle they said, ma'am. Do you have a gun in there? <laughs> she said, a gun? And they said, yes. Funny thing was, she forgot I was wearing a cowboy outfit and I did have my gun in my holster. Uh, <laughs> they weren't going to let her on the airplane. Super. They made her actually take me out and put me in another box and send me on the bottom of the airplane. Man, I thought we was going to get left. <laughs> That's a true story? Yes, sir, that uh, is. Man, I... Seymour. She I can't believe they did me. that to you. They did. Well, I thought you were going to say the scariest place you ever were was a sawmill. I just oh, well, I that already, yeah. I've already been through those. I told you. I've been through the mill, buddy. <laughs> well, oh. we're trying to bring things kind of a little close on your section. Uh -huh. So we want to know, you got a special word for the kids out there tonight that you'd like to share? Well, sure. I got a piece of advice that most people can handle. Some advice. Yeah, he didn't ask for advice. Well, yeah, he did. Folks, always be true to your teeth, and they'll never be false to you. Ah! No. Oh, Seymour, you're too much. Oh, thanks. People are going to have a ball with you tomorrow. Oh, I hope so. I hope yep. they'll all be there. All right. So if they come at... Uh, you want to give the times? You want Pastor Hunt? He'd let her do it. All I right, might Pastor get Hunt, mixed up. Got to give these times. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock tomorrow morning for morning worship, and that'll take us up to about eight fifty. And then, of course, we have Sunday school. Now, 
BJ or Seymour one may be roaming around the Sunday school and checking everybody out. But we'll be there. That's right. And then uh, once again, we'll have the morning worship then at 10 o'clock, 10.15. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have the All Church Carnival at 4 o'clock. Yeah. And then evening worship uh, at uh, 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a great time. going to be a busy day. That's right. Yes, it will. Anything else that you want to leave us with before... One last word? Oh, well, I could talk all night. You know that. Well, but if I had to say anything that I really thought was important, folks, all of you need a clean heart, not Amen. just kids. Amen. You know, Amen. this is a kids' crusade. That's because we use puppets and all those kinds of things that kids like. But you know what's really important? Is asking Jesus to clean up your heart. And Amen. he'll do it. That's just tell him you're sorry. Lord. That's such a good word, we're going to let you leave us on that. Is okay, that right? that's cool. That's well, you know, wonderful. I wonder, though, Jim, if he could lead us in a closing word of prayer. Sure. Well, you don't mind? Oh, we'd love for you to do that. Dear Lord, we really thank you that you can hear us no matter where we're at. Here we are on TV, and you're even listening here. Dear Lord, I pray that everybody here looks into their heart and they know whether or not they will ever ask you to clean it up or not. Amen. I sure hope so. Amen. I pray that they will. Dear Jesus, I just want to tell you how much I love you and thank you for dying on the cross. You're very special to me, and thank you for choosing me. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. We will You're take welcome. a break. Oh, that's super. Hey, thanks. Super. <laughs> thanks, thanks for...